Hey everybody, Rob Willett here. I'm out here for my morning walk on beautiful Manitoulin Island. And um, what I like to do, I like to take uh, keep a close eye on the sides of the roads and the, for morel mushrooms. And it's a it's a mushroom I love to eat. I'm going to show you what they look like and what they uh, don't look like. <laughs> I got a couple I found here in front of me. So, <clears throat> oh, I got another one popping onto the ground here too. So this is what they look like here. They, they're really hard to find because they look like a pine cone standing up on end. That one back there is a fake morel. I'll show you that one in a second. I got another one popping onto the ground. Just starting to come out right, right here. That's a regular morel. <clears throat> so that's... I'm gonna pick him right now. This is a regular morel here. You see how you pop them off. I usually use a little knife usually, but I'm gonna pop them off of the stem. There we go. I like to leave part of the stem in the ground right there. You can see the hollow stem. And if I get my so a morel looks like that and has a hollow stem. <clears throat> the fake morel, which is this guy back here. I'm going to show you what he looks like. Obviously, misshapen, not like a regular morel with a cone shape. And his stem is solid. There's no hole in the middle. He may have a bit of a hole inside of his, the head of the, um, the head of the mushroom, but you can see the different shape here. He's kind of ugly shapen. He's kind of perfect shapen. And these are the ones I eat. Hole in the stem. Perfect morel. That is a false morel. It has some morel-like qualities, but the stem is not hollow. Now there's a couple more around here. I think there's, where did I see the other one? I'm going to let this one over here grow out of the ground. He's just popping out now. I thought I saw one over here earlier when I walked by. Come on, where are you? Come on, where do you go? Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. It's a little tiny guy. Maybe I'll let him grow another day. But here he is again. This one, see? When you look at him, you think, oh, a little pine cone. But no, that's a morale. nice little morale mushroom. But he's a tiny little guy. I'm gonna let him grow for another week or so. Keep an eye on Oh, there's another one over there. <laughs> there we go. This one's a little bit bigger, but there, look at that. Nice. Little morel mushroom. See the size of my fingers? He's only about, I don't know, halfway up my, my finger. So he's, he's just starting to grow. But uh, yeah, that's. Uh, that's it right there. They kind of look like little pine cones on the ground. And that's really what I look for when I look look for uh, morels. I look for little pine cones that are kind of sticking up looking at me. Anyways, just thought I'd give you a quick little tutorial on what to look for. And because uh, these things are phenomenal to eat. They have a nice, uh, nice earthy taste. And uh, hopefully you guys can uh, get out and, and find some. They're, they're a nice treat in the bush. So it's a little while later, I'm back at the trailer, and I'm going to cook up some of these morels. Um, I want to tell you what I was, <laughs> show you what I was talking about with the um, the whole looks like a pine cone thing, because uh, I picked up a couple pine cones just to show you. Okay, so these are the morels. And they're elusive little buggers. They're hard to find, man, I'm telling you. And there's a pine cone. So when you see a, a morel... And a pine cone. That's why I kind of look for pine cones that are sort of sticking up looking at me. Sort of in this fashion. Because of the morels. <coughs> when they're at an end. They look very similar. When you're sort of walking through the bush trying to find them. Because they are so hard to find. So you're going to see a million pine cones. And then... Uh, all of a sudden, oh, that one looks a little different. So that's pretty much how I 
how I look for them when I'm uh, walking through the bush. They're they're hard to find, man. These this these guys here. This is uh, two afternoons of walking around, uh, looking under trees and whatnot in the bush, and I've only got what seven of them here. So, anyways, uh, I keep looking the next couple of days and stew them up and put them in a nice little soup. It adds nice flavor and uh, a little bit of earthiness and. And yeah, it's just a little 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 snack I like to eat when I'm in the springtime and and we're not far from Providence Bay where we are, so anyways they're they're on Manitoulin. They're hard to find, but they're on Manitoulin. So now I'm in the trailer, I'm gonna prepare these mushrooms. What I like to do is uh I like to soak them in water a little bit and give them a good good toss around. And I've read that this releases some of the little spores and whatnot that can make more morels grow so what I'll do is I'll jiggle them around like that let them sit for a little while and then I'll pluck them out of the water and I'll I'll bring this water back to with the little area that I normally find morels and um, I'll spread it around there and hopefully the little uh, little spores will take and uh, it'll grow more hopefully <laughs> so they say I'm, I'm no expert but uh, this is one of the little things I do and it seems to be working, so anyways, get out there and find some rails. So next step, I'm going to saute them in some water and a little bit of butter. And uh, just uh, like literally a teaspoon of butter, just for a little bit of extra taste. And once that uh, water evaporates, just starting to boil right now. I'll, uh, I'll add some, just, just even some regular old... Uh, mushroom soup or whatnot and uh because you never get mus enough mushrooms in mushroom soup so uh any kind of creamy soup i usually just throw in there and uh and just like i said just boosts the flavor of the soup and it's a, it's a nice little snack so this is the final product i didn't end up having any mushroom soup kicking around so it's in a clam chowder today. <laughs> Let's give one of these babies a try here. Mm. Oh yeah. Nice earthy portobello mushroom style taste. Oh man, that's fantastic. If you're a mushroom lover, you will love these. Anyways, don't uh, don't take this as like the, uh, the holy bible of, of mushroom hunting and eating because I'm no expert, but... Uh, I do enjoy it. I did a lot of research over the years and uh, follow a lot of forums online. Uh, a lot of pictures of what to look for, what not to look for, and um, and it's a, it's a bit of a hobby of mine. So you know, when you're interested in something like that, they will <clears throat> you start to recognize what to see and what to eat, and and uh, yeah, these little morels. I like said, make sure they got a the hollow stem and they're not misshapen. They're nice uh, little cone shape, almost like a little pine cone, and uh, you'll enjoy them too. They're great. Anyways. Take care now, and we'll see you next spring. Because <laughs> I'm pretty much done. I think I've, I've morel hunted this place out pretty good. Um, we were down on the shores of Manitoulin, not too far from uh, Providence Bay there. So, anyways, get out there, get yourself in the bush, and start looking for some morel mushrooms.